personally. Mm -hmm. But then again, I don't really know the match pull well. But I'm going based off of a like Highwayman. His uh, his play style is like he heavily heavily relies on the Gordo. Mm -hmm. And Roy and Lucina, they have the, the just the, the good disjoint with mm -hmm. the with the aerials, so they can just like send them back to to Highwayman. Right. Plus, they're gonna. Well, I think. Okay, so. Knowing Jace, I've known Jace for a long time. I right. knew him in high school, and he's part of my crew, and he comes to my locals and everything. He's a great friend. But when it's a matchup like this, you don't see DDDs all the time, unfortunately. You really don't, which is kind of sad because they can be pretty hype. Right. Uh, like Girthquake. Oh, my God. His montage videos are insane. <laughs> but uh, regardless, uh, it's kind of weird because we don't have a lot of these matchups. So if he doesn't practice them, it's easy to say that he might lose him, but it seems like Highwayman may not even know how to approach either. He instantly got this knocked up on the top uh, platform. Who made the pick for this? I don't know. Uh, I would assume it probably wasn't Jace, okay. that's for sure. I, I know that he does not like Lila. Okay, so he's going off stage. Okay, oh, okay. So it was Highwayman's pick. Yeah, see, I, I don't think Jace would ever pick this. Especially not with Marth. Alright. He's doing normal, normal DDD stubs, but he need to, he needs to mix it up a little bit because he's not getting on stage. Jace has been uh, kind of watching him, so he knows he knows what to expect. Yeah, he's observing a little bit. Alright. See, even expecting a multi hit. Right. Okay, light fall. See, he's just, he's been off stage this whole time. Oh, that would have been a great forward smash. Alright, now he's keeping, he can't seem to get on stage, which is exactly what Jace wants. It doesn't give him enough time to throw any Gordo. If I were him, I would have thrown a Gordo right there. A yeah. short Gordo, just to let it flop. All the way down. Yeah, even if it's not close to him, it'll at least distract him and worry him, because that can do a lot of damage to him. Alright. Using his tilts, just get him up, getting him up there. Jace is in the zone right now. He's, he, he's his, in the zone. He's got his stuff down. You can tell he's doing he's doing the little bob and weave that he does when he's, he's sitting down and he's playing. He's like <laughs> he's like playing Mario Kart IRL right now. He's just sitting there. All right. So Jace is clearly shown that he has so much stage control right now. I mean, it's going to have to do some serious mix-ups now. Yeah, okay. That was a good back air. Ooh, he goes for another one. Alright. I think... Ooh, okay. So he was going to read the roll on stage. Yeah. But Jace is too patient enough for that. So yeah. He'd rather observe than just immediately act. If he missed time that Gordo, if he timed the Gordo just a little bit better, it would have hit him on a ledge. Right, right. The tilt from Lilat. This is interesting. Yeah, and yeah, that tilt, doesn't make sense to me either. I think depending on the tilt, it can make Gordo fly further or fly short. Yeah, but I mean, that if that's something uncontrollable, why would you take DDD to Lila? I mean, you make, a, you make a minor adjustment for a, a amazing boost. That's true. It could also, if it's, I mean, if it's not in your favor, it's not really that big of a deal. But I guess if it is in your favor, it's huge damage. Yeah. So I, I guess I could see the takeaway from it. All right, he goes for that okay, okay. fastball back air. Real nice. He's at 80% though, but he can bring it back. He does enough damage. See, that was already 10%. Yeah. All right, good, perfect shield. All right, he's spacing him well. He's keeping his distance. Now he needs to keep up this uh, little spacing game and he does get connected. Jay's got to keep his cool and just keep focused. Yeah, just keep doing what he's doing. He's playing this game really well. Yeah. Despite, you know, him being down a stock, you lose stocks in games, that happens, but if you lose your composure, then you lose the set. That's it. Okay. Ah, he's getting tilted. Luckily enough, that doesn't do a lot of knockbacks, so he can immediately refresh himself from it. Yes. Okay. He's going for it. Ah, he doesn't know what to do when he's up in the air like that. He, he wants to throw a Gordo, but he doesn't want to get punished for the Gordo. Yeah. If anything, I probably would have just thrown the Gordo, just for the heck of it. Yeah. Right. Ooh, that was very close. This is a dangerous Oh position. my god, dash deck! Oh my god! <laughs> what happened? What? 
I don't know. Did he throw out a Gordo? No. Oh, he didn't throw out a Gordo. He didn't. I, he threw out a Gordo, but it didn't. It didn't hit. I think it was just he just timed the dash attack to get the punish off the of recovery. Man, I did not see day. that coming. Yeah, with well, maximum rage DDD with a mark at eighty-seven um, percent. I can tell you right now what Jason's thinking. He's like, I shouldn't have lost that. This is ridiculous. I hate this game so much. <laughs> And I would agree. Okay, so you definitely know. It. I would agree to every single one of those things. This game is janky, and I, there's no way in a million years I would have ever thought, after seeing Jace play so incredibly that entire game, that he would have lost like that. But he he takes it to Town and City, which is one of his mucho gusto maps. He loves this map. <laughs> All right. See now, Highway Man is getting a lot more aggressive. He's spacing a lot. He he feels a little bit more in control after winning that last match. He's got some momentum on him. Now that the download is complete, right? Right, right. See, now it's switched. Jace is the one who can't seem to stay on stage and, you know, get good hits in. Ah, uh, which is a big deal considering the gap that they had last match and Iwin Man was able to turn it around so quick. If Iwin Man right. gets a lead and sticks with it, it's going to be a very uphill battle. Yeah, he can ride it. If he can ride the momentum and the confidence. Oh, my God. Woo. Oh, man. I'm getting sweaty. That mm -hmm. was that was unforeseen, and that was also unforeseen. That reverse B neutral shield break. I don't know how that didn't pop. You saw it shrunk really tiny, but <laughs> whatever, man. The game is what it is. All right, now he's just throwing and bottles off stage. Ah, he goes for the hard fall. Yeah. Highway man's gonna be playing his uh, distance game now. He's got he's up a stock. He's got a yeah. He's DDD, so like. He doesn't really have to approach. He, he really doesn't. Simple stock. He has Gordos. He has tilts. He has multi hits. He's good. That, I don't know what that was. I don't know how it hard he was trying to get into like his head. trying to get read or call out or something. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, but I don't. I wouldn't do that because, honestly, like we just said, there's no reason for the Highwayman to take risks. Good tech. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good counter. Jesus. These guys. These guys are really good. They're incredible. Mm -hmm. All right, so even though they're both at even stocks, but Jace is at a percentage deficit, you can still bring it back, no problem. Very good. I would have enough confidence in them after that sick counter yeah. to take this back. But as Highwayman, I would have enough confidence because of that sick tech yeah. to bring it back. So well, these guys are feeling good, I can tell. Jace is moving a lot faster. He's, you know... Not being super risk taking, he's definitely playing it safe. Mm -hmm. Highwayman is also in his element because he's throwing more Gordos. Yeah. Ooh, that up smash! And a mark with rage is a scary thing. That's true. He's at 115 right now. All right. Nah, they're, they're just trying to poke at each. Oh my God! Yep. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Ooh, it's got uh, my blood pumping right yeah, here, man. I, I tightened up real quick for that. <laughs> oh, no. oh. God, oh, look at his face. Oh, yeah, he was about yeah. to do the fist bump and then it changed into the handshake. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, I can see him walking across the room right now. Across the room right now. The aura of salt <laughs> passes behind him. Poor guy. I love Jason. He builds on it. He builds on it though. Every time. Yeah, he, he builds on it. He's like he's like a super saiyan. Every time he gets down, <laughs> he comes back twice as he's strong. He's one of those guys who's like, this game is stupid. I'm gonna quit this game. I, I hate it so much. You and see then, him the next local, and yeah, you're like, and he's right back at the. What are you he's doing? Like, What's and he's going like, on, bud? He's, he's like, like, shut up. He's like, I don't like, want to. I don't want to talk. I'm here to play. All right. I was just gonna see how you're doing. You know, I haven't talked to you in a while, but whatever. Yeah, Facebook's a fun thing. Facebook <laughs> is quite. Oh my god. I don't. He, if I even get him started on Facebook, that's that gives him all the time to reply back to me. Yeah. But in person, if he starts talking, I just walk away. <laughs> Peace, dog. I don't. I don't want to handle that. But I mean, he when he's on a roll, he's really on a roll. Yeah. He, he goes yeah. for things. He's he has all the things necessary to be a great player. So, like, okay, to analyze that last match, what did what, 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 where did it go downhill for Jace's? In play. I think it was less going downhill for Jace, more Highwayman going uphill. I think Highwayman near the last, like the end of the last match, I think Highwayman is like, he built up his conditioning, right. he had it set up, and he was in his zone. He had his Gordos out, he was, he was throwing out like only necessary like aerials. Right. And it was just. I would probably define it less as a hill, because that would mean that it's 